Good evening. The Chesterfield Historical Society of the Greater Richmond area in Virginia owns, operates, and preserves nearly a, a dozen historical sites since its inception in 1981. One newly acquired historical site is the Point of Rock site situated on the Appomattox River with historical connections to the peninsula and the Bermuda Hundred campaign to the Civil War. According to the Chesterfield Historical Society of Virginia's website, the Point of Rock site is where, quote, Abraham Lincoln walked with Union generals discussing ways to win a war and Clara Barton served as the head nurse to many wounded and sick Union soldiers in the largest hospital in the world built during the Civil War. To preserve and maintain this important historical site, the Chesterfield Historical Society has stabilized a house constructed by Union General Benjamin F. Butler and 40,000 soldiers as a field hospital, and this building acted as the surgeon's quarters. According to the National Park Service website, the building was constructed in haste using timber from Reverend John Alexander Strachan's Eon Church in 1864. The land was used as a freeman's village after the war, and there is significant evidence of the land being utilized by indigenous people. While stabilized, the site is in dire need of repairs, through which the Chesterfield Historical Society currently takes donations. In this discussion, I'd like to focus our attention on how a partnership of grants could significantly fund the preservation at the Point of Rocks Historical Park. To this end, I'll speak to two major potential donors, as well as a third organization, which may also benefit this cause. First, let's appraise the first major potential donor, the Mary Martin Parsons Foundation. The Mary Morton Parsons Foundation supports nonprofit organizations throughout the Commonwealth of Virginia with such aims as the arts, education, social services, and historic preservation with a focus on capital projects. With a commitment to preserving historically significant structures for future generations, the foundation has particular guidelines in what and how its found funding is appropriated. First, the grant funding is awarded on a matching basis, and so the Chesterfield Historical Society's own funding would have to meet the foundation's donation. Second, the Mary Morton Parsons Foundation requires construction must be well underway to receive grant funding. The Point of Rock site has already seen stabilization efforts completed, and so this shouldn't be an issue. Finally, their funding also typically does not support more than a third of a project's budgetary needs, and this amount must be 100% contributed by the organization. With one third of the funding coming from the Mary Morton Parsons Foundation meeting the matching funding from the Chesterfield Historical Society, the Point of Rocks Historical Park still needs a third of their funding covered by a partnership of foundations and organizations. I'll delve into one major one, and then I'll discuss other options that might help close the financial gap. The Richard S. Reynolds Foundation offers assistance to local community organizations in the Richmond area involving such things as science, education, healthcare, in the environment, the arts, and historical preservation. A review of their grant list sees work in preservation at the Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, the Jamestown Yorktown Foundation, and the Valentine Richmond History Center. Their funding is typically only in the greater Richmond area and does not cover annual or operational costs. Other partner organizations which may provide the rest of the funding needed might include funding from the Historical Preservation Fund. Apart from funding from the Historical Preservation Fund competitive grant, other grant opportunities tied to the Historical Preservation Fund might include funding from the Tribal Historical Preservation Office as part of preservation efforts to include indigenous sites found at Point of Rocks, and the History of Equal Rights grant to preserve and maintain any evidence of the Freedmen's Village at the site. The key takeaway from this cursory research on potential grant proposals is that one foundation or organization typically cannot and will not fully fund a project out of pocket. It is a partnership of grants working together in tandem with the funding from the principal organization that moves mountains. I look forward to hearing your comments and feedback on my hypothetical Point of Rocks Historical Park grant proposal. Thank you.